Yo, what is going on guys? Jordy back with another T3 video. I've gotten a couple of comments recently on how I played T3 on my computer. So today we're going to be showing you how to do that. I'm going to show you what the emulator I use, how to do it, how to set it all up, how to make your keyboard and mouse work with the game. It's going to be a lot of information, but I do want to throw a disclaimer. Anything that I tell you to download in this video is completely at your own risk. Nothing is going to harm your computer. I will give you the links that I used in order to make this work. However, it's just one of those disclaimers that download anything at your own risk. Emulators can be kind of sketchy and there's a couple of different emulators you can use. However, today we're going to be going over LD player four and how to set it all up to work with T3 Arena on the PC. So let's jump over to the desktop and I'll show you guys how to set it all up. All right, so we're on the desktop and here is the application that I use. Like I said, LD player four. And all the links to this will be in the description from exactly where I downloaded it. So you know that it is safe. But again, download it at your own risk. But this is the emulator I use. There's a couple of other ones you can use, but this is just the one that I went with. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to download LD Player 4 and then open it. And so we're going to let this open and I'll kind of briefly talk about some different stuff while this opens. So I'm going to go over how to install TapTap, how to install T3 Arena and then how to set up the keyboard and mouse bindings, and then um, a couple of settings that you can tweak inside LD Player in order to make it optimized and run better. All of the settings that I do provide to you, just take them with a grain of salt. I have a very, very strong computer uh, since content creation is my job. I have a very expensive computer. So if you don't have as expensive as a, of a computer, my settings might not necessarily be the best for you. So just optimize it to your hardware, your computer, anything like that. So the first thing we're going to do when we open, this is the main screen for LD player. Um, you're not going to have tap tap or T3 arena. What you have to do is you have to go into the system apps over here and go to Google Chrome. So let's open that. All right. So once you have Chrome open, you're going to go to the search bar and type in tap tap .io. As you can see, I already have it typed in and it's going to pull up to the tap tap website um from here you're going to go to this blue like teal button at the bottom for me it says open but for you it'll probably say something along the lines of download or install you're going to do that go through the process of installing tap tap and once it is installed it'll be on your home page for you to go to so we're going to open this and it will flip the orientation because it emulates a phone and from here you're going to sign in to tap tap and then on the tap tap uh, application, you're actually going to search in T3 Arena. And again, mine says play because I have it downloaded, but you're going to have to download and install T3 Arena to get it onto the home. So go ahead and go into tap tap, sign in, search this, download T3 Arena, and it will pop up onto your home screen. Once you have it downloaded, we're going to go into T3 Arena and I'll show you guys how to set up the key bindings. Let's open the app. All right, so we're in the game. And for first off, here's the new Judic skin that you get in this week's Lucky Draw. If you guys want to check out my last video, I actually did the Lucky Draw and got the skin. It's pretty cool. I did a little showcase of it, but I really like this skin. I'm so thankful that we finally got a Judic skin. But the first thing you want to do is we're going to go over here into our options and we're going to go to our layout. Now you can use any of these, but I don't know if you can customize these layouts. So I would just use custom layout personally. Um, and that's what I use. So we're going to go ahead and go into custom layout and you're going to see all of my different buttons that I can click to play the game. So like for instance, my move button, left trigger, cancel, reload, jump, all my abilities, etc. So what I did was I brought the opacity down on almost everything to as low as you can get, which is 20. And then I just have my abilities and jump at max opacity. Um, the reason I have that is so you can see when you have your abilities ready to be activated. From here, you're going to go to this button right up here in the top right corner. It says keyboard mapping. You're going to click that and it's basically going to pop up with all of the controls that you will be able to bind to your mouse and keyboard, uh, depending on if you have buttons on your mouse or whatever. So as you can see, WASD over here is bound on top of my move the right left or the I'm sorry the left mouse button is bound on top of shoot um x is bound on top of cancel the reason I have cancel on here is because I play a lot of osos and you can like cancel his scope in rather than wasting a bullet you can just cancel it and keep running the I'm going to skip this for now the uh reload button is on my mouse so like the forward button on my mouse if you have a forward and back button on your mouse you'd understand 
um that's bound to reload you can bound this to r i just i just always put it on my mouse my ultimate ability is on f my other side button or my back button is bound to anything like a like an ability so for instance like if i was playing aletta that would allow me to do my dash or if i was playing judix that would allow me to throw my little blind grenade um and then spacebar is bound to jump um this one isn't necessarily on top of anything but this is basically going to be your mouse's sensitivity so you want to set the y axis and the x axis uh so whatever you feel comfortable play with it it's there's a lot of tweaking you can also do within the game settings as far as sensitivity but just tweak it to where you like it and then i have this bound to right mouse button and what that does is when i click the right, right mouse button my cursor will actually disappear and it will allow me to move my character's head uh you also want to untick these two unless you want to show all of these prompts on screen you just want to untick these two boxes um just so all of these blue prompts disappear and then uh you can for instance if i click anywhere i can it allows me to set up another bind or if i click on any of these binds it allows me to change them so like i could make cancel j if i wanted to i'm gonna leave it on x but you get the idea um you just click you bind it or you can if you have a side mouse button or anything like that you click this so like for instance if i click this and then i did this mouse button which is set to three or this mouse button that will change that so just click whatever button you want to bind and then put it wherever you want to have it activate the screen as if it was a touch screen and it was your thumbs and then you're gonna go ahead and click save and then in the actual game you'll click save and i'm gonna go over to the testing grounds or the you know whatever it's called the the training grounds and uh i'm gonna show you how it all works in game so let's go over there all right so we're in the training grounds and as you can see i can move my character with wasd just trust me i'm clicking my mouse button or my uh, keyboard buttons however i can't control my character's head uh as you can see my cursor is going all over the place so that's that right mouse button click so if i click my right, right mouse button it now gives me control of my character's head and i can move around i can shoot i can do all the things i can throw my my flash grenade i can jump i can reload my gun i can do all the things that i have bound to the screen and when I get my ultimate, I can show you that as well. But the reason that I play on emulator, and I know this is kind of a stigma with a lot of different game communities, the difference between playing on like controller versus mouse and keyboard in say Fortnite, uh, there's always that like argument that this is cheating. This is unfair. You're going to have an advantage. The only reason I really play on emulator is because I play a ton of computer games. So I'm used to mouse and keyboard but i also do it for the sense of content creation it's easier to have it on my computer i can go into full screen right here which is this button right up here boom boom that's what that's how i record all my videos i am full screened and obs picks up that application and it also picks up my camera i have it all layered i have it all easily accessible and i can immediately come out of here and i can go do whatever i need on my computer and come back to the game it's just easier for content creation I also am just used to mouse and keyboard, so that's just why I like it or prefer it over mobile. Yes, it's technically a mobile game, um, and my fiance, who actually plays in the background a lot with me, um, if you see her on, if you follow me on Twitch, you'll understand. She always sits on the couch behind me and plays with me. She plays on the iPad. It's a two-way street. If you want to just play on mobile, play on mobile. If you're wanting to play on PC, this is how you do it. So, um, and then here is F, that's my ultimate ability. So that's all the keybinds. That's how you set up the keybinds. That's how you make the whole game work. I'm going to show you some optimizations you can do though. So let's go over here into this little cog wheel. And this is actually the like settings of LD player. So here's my advanced tab. If you want to copy these, you can. Again, I have a really powerful computer. So my settings might work differently for your computer, but this is my settings that I have. Um, you can actually up the cores. I don't think you can go past four cores initially. You have to activate something in your BIOS and there is actually something on the LD player website that tells you how to do it. So you can activate or you can actually use more cores. I think the most you can go to is four just off the presets. Um, you can give it more RAM. I would recommend playing in tablet mode just to, so you can get that that 1080p. As far as model, um, the, you, some people I know changed the phone to rog phone 2 i just kind of left it on preset and i haven't really seen a difference 
but you can change that. Also, I set this to 90 FPS. I don't ever get past 60 FPS, but I just set it to this. Um, and then game settings, I have this frame rate set to 60 FPS by default. I have this top one unchecked. Um, I found that if I checked this, I actually lost frames. So I kept that one unchecked. Um, vertical sync is on, better support for textures and so on and so forth. All of this, this is for PUBG Mobile. Um, audio, this is going to be whatever audio device you have. I have a mic and I have a GoXLR mixer. I do content creation for a living, so I have some more fancy mics and whatever, but you just set this to whatever mic you have, maybe a headset mic or whatever the case may be. And then network I've never messed with. Shortcuts, the only thing I changed was full screen. I can exit full screen with escape. Um, wallpaper, this changes your main screen wallpaper inside the actual application. And then other settings I've also never messed with. So those are my settings for the game, uh, or for the LD player and everything works perfectly fine. It all runs smooth. Um, the only thing is if you are a content creator, sometimes having OBS running in the background can, can make you lose frames, but you just kind of have to tweak it and, and mess with the settings until it works. And that's, that's really all I did to make it work. So that's how you play on PC. Pretty simple. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you figured it out. I hope you are now playing T3 on the PC. Again, there's always the debate of, is it cheating? I find it easier to do and easier to use. That's just how I prefer to play the game. But let me know in the comments if this helped. If you have any questions about this, you can drop them in the comments as well. It might be a little harder for me to explain some troubleshooting in text form. Um, so the easiest way to get a hold of me is to follow me on Twitch and go ask while I'm live. It, it's easier to just talk in person. Um, so go check out my Twitch. Also, you can join my Discord. I think that might be another easy way. Um, it's just a little easier to talk in like DMs rather than through comments. But go ahead. If you have any problems or anything, you can leave them in the comments. And if it's an easy fix, I will answer. Leave a like on the video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We got more T3 coming your way. I got a ton of videos planned and we do have the September update soon. So I will be making a ton of videos about that as well. I'm actually going to probably make a Johnny Jet video to see what I think he needs with the September update. So make sure you go check out the September update video if you don't know what I'm talking about. And uh, more videos coming, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if this helped and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, everyone.